Hi, and um, welcome to uh, Rage Slip's unboxing video. Hello. Uh, we have a nice massive box here. Um, this is the new Cool Mini or Not game um, that's just coming to the UK. What is it? Massive Darkness. Ooh. So, zombie side? Yeah. Same company. Nice. Same art style, same, same general look about it. Okay. So, as you can see, this is a massive box. Quite apt being as other games called Massive Darkness, I suppose, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So let's see what we've got. Oh, I pass your stuff. No. Oh. Well, actually, it's uh, it on camera slightly. There we go. There we go. So, so we, should we should we just get it all out of the let's box? Let's just get it all out. Let's just get it all out of the box first. And then we'll, work, we'll worry about what it's afterwards. So this was a Kickstarter game. Yep. So I'm, I'm guessing that there's, geez, this is heavy. So I'm guessing there's going to be a fair bit of stuff here that isn't available for. Well, that's the confusing thing. So that, we'll, we'll talk right? about it as we come across it. Yeah, that's right. So let's get these off camera for a moment. So these, this is the core box. Yeah? This is the core box. Awesome. So as you can see, similar art style to Zombie Size. Mm. Um, same sort of size box. This is what you'll get at retail. Okay. So this is the retail box. So no no stretch goals no no add-ons or no, anything. No, not no. Ooh. This is not for dramatic effects. <laughs> <laughs> so so those of you who have got any of the zombie side games will sort of recognise the the format of having many boxes within boxes and yeah. We'll we'll, we'll leave this one till last. I did mention last year. Yeah yeah. Just just, just, just draw out the, the tension. <laughs> so, so standard rule book. That's a pretty so you big rule book. You have the game's components. Ah, so you've got the same. So, so we have the same sort of dashboard you see on Zombie Size, uh, and you've got the same miniatures. The hero cards are slightly different, um, but you also have the miniature tokens. Uh, yeah, so same. you can uh, yeah, for, each, for each player. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, there's quests at the back, so don't flip too far forward. I wish no, I'm, I'm, I'm going not going to. I'm just going to. So this, this for reference, is a 50, 56 page rule book. Um, yeah. So you got all your rules in there, so it tells you how you do, your, uh, how you play the game, that sort of thing. Awesome. So. Oh, some, somebody didn't get excited and start punching cards. No. <laughs> <laughs> I should point out this is actually the third attempt to film this. We, so. we we like to give the the, the let's say the developers on Kickstarter, Kickstarter a bit of a benefit of the doubt, but we do check the games first to make sure there's nothing missing. Yeah. Um, just so there's no embarrassment if we were to live stream this, for example. Yeah. And there's no, the nobody likes developers. opening a box of and then finding stuff that's not there that should be. Yeah. Or doubles or something that should yeah. singles off. So these are our well, tokens. Doubles isn't a bad thing. Yeah, but if you've got something missing. Yeah, fair yeah. one. So these are your tokens. Uh, objective tokens. Nice. And then flip it over. That's oh, very objective tokens. It's very good cardstock. It is, yeah. Um, it's very, nice and thick. Just like Zombie Side, very impressed with the cardstock. Nice it's not, print none of this, well. none of this really flimsy sort of. It's that the canvasy feel. Yeah. Almost like an expensive pack of playing cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So we've got terrain. Uh, I'm guessing these are health tokens. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't know what half these. We'll, we'll find out what most yeah, of them is when we, when we yeah. do actually get a chance to play this one. Yeah. We'll, we'll add it to the backlog, and if any of you have checked out the website, you'll see that the backlog is pretty large. Yeah, it's got larger. <laughs> it has grown, and it is still growing. So those are our tokens. So that's those. So what have we got here? Are these. Uh, these are the game these tiles. Are those map tiles, aren't they? Yeah. Let's pull this out of the way for a moment. So they the oh they're all they're all double sided. Yep. So just like Zombie Side, and they're all labelled and numbered as well, just like Zombie Side. Yep. Again, very, very good quality cardstock. And I like the artwork, it just kind of has that kind of medieval, nothing straight, nothing's... So we should point out the main different, main part of the game on this. Uh, the idea behind Massive Darkness is that you hide in the shadows. So to that end, you have light areas and dark areas. Um, so if you're in the light, you can be seen by the enemies. Uh, if the enemy's in the light, you can obviously see them. If you or the enemies are in the shadow, there's abilities... Uh, and also the um, stealth and that sort of thing. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to playing this one. I think you could conceivably use these with Zombie Side as well, make your own 
make your own missions you, up. Yeah, that's yeah, so sort of like, yeah, sort of like a castle, yeah, sort of like a separate sort of campaign almost. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, those are the mission tiles. And you've got plenty there to keep you going. You can make your own missions up with those. So what else we got in here? We got. We have. Leave all these for a minute. Oh, so what are so these are the oh so these are new oh these are these are new I've not seen these before so oh are these character classes ah okay so, so you have one, one for each character class so these I would imagine are kind of like if you if you play an RPG and you're leveling up as you're going along yeah um so I'll show you one of these these are for tracking your oh god I hate this. Tracking the the traits that you get, different skill points, I'm guessing. Yeah, different levels. Um, I like the fact they give you a decent number of sheets to start with. Mm -hmm. so you can you, quite so, easily scan that in. Well, that's what I mean. The, they give you enough of a number so you get a few plays through before you you're panicking and running for a photocopier. Yeah. Um, there's nothing worse than buying a game that requires instant photocopier. Yeah, exactly. So um, yeah, those are your character classes, cool. and then somewhere in here, here we go. <clears throat> So, so just, these are all the character cards, are they? Yeah, if we just get to the end of the thing. So here we are. Here, these are the characters themselves. Let's just. There we go. <laughs> so these are the characters. I completely themselves. forgot the camera had a zoom function. <laughs> <laughs> these are the characters themselves. <laughs> uh, so unlike Zombie Side, they're, they're quite small. But here we have uh, a recommended class. So the Nightshade Ranger. Oh, uh, okay. So you, you don't have to have that person being a ranger. If no, you wanted, you but I'm, have... I'm guessing it's it's on there for a reason. So it's yeah. recommending it you because it's the most effective class for that yeah. that character. Yeah. Yeah. So they have their own abilities as it is anyway. Okay. Um, and then on top of that, you then have so let's find the battle wizards. There we go. So on top of that, he would have he's got his own abilities, and on top of that, he would have these character class abilities here. Definitely not Gandalf. No, definitely not Gandalf. <laughs> uh, definitely not Conan. <laughs> So yeah, we we got a few classes. Let's, um, let's bring it there a bit. Yeah, so we've got a few classes there. That's pretty cool. So, so said, this, how many players is this game? Uh, this is up to, he says, not knowing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for all those cards on the inside to go spin so my everywhere. <laughs> six, up to six players. Up to six players. Yeah. So we could have all six all six characters out. Oh brilliant. Um so, if we move those out of the way. And I'm, I'm guessing all of the rest that's in here, we've got... So we'll yeah, let's, let's get this right away, don't uh, So we've got some dice, which, for those who've played Zombicide, um, and in fact, probably exactly. Imperial Assault as well. They're all a similar sort of style there. Yeah. Instead of having traditional numbers, one to six, they're, I'm guessing, like attack, defense, and special abilities. And Actually, stuff like these that. are the strength. Oh, okay. So we'll get to that in a second. But oh, okay. it, it all makes sense. So these are the enemies. So there's five levels of enemies. Yeah. And they're referred to as guards. Okay. So we have our dwarf warriors. So this will actually explain it. So, you see on that? We've got a yellow two. Just there. That suggests to me that you roll two yellow dice. Okay. So I'm, so I'm guessing each dice has sort of like... I mean, I can see that the red dice straight away have got a load of swords on, so probably all that attack. Yeah. Greens look like More lots defense, of shields. Yeah. And then yellow and blues are a mixture of two, I think. In fact, there we go. Yeah, blues look like our defense. Look like your defensive ones, yeah. yeah. So maybe maybe green, possibly magic. Green magic, yeah. No, yellows. Yellows... I think yellow is hard hit and red is... Sorry, yellow is soft hit, red is hard hit. Okay. Uh, I'd actually say maybe green is a good defense. Mm. Yeah, it looks like it. Tokens. Yeah. So, yeah, we go through the warriors. So we've got the dwarf warriors, dwarf defenders, goblin agent, archers, more warriors, orc flayers. There you go, red dice. Mm. We've got a different number of dice against them. And then we go to level twos. One blue, one yeah. green. There we go. Yeah, three yellow dice. So yeah, it, it seems it seems very much that there are two sets of dice, two coloured dice for attacks, and then two for defence. Yeah. Um, one seems to be better than the others. Yeah. In fact, there we go. Goblin archers, two yellow, one red. Yeah. So makes sense. That adds another another sort of level of depth to it. Yeah. A bit more. 
So effectively, you go all the way up to level five, and they're much the same characters, but just just getting stronger. harder. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they've got abilities on them as well. Uh, yeah, level five black. So I'm guessing these are the ones that will kill you outright. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if we uh, so those those are the uh, those are the standard mob bad guys. Mm -hmm. Now we get to the interesting ones. We have lesser and greater roaming monsters. So I'm guessing these are... These are like the end of level bosses, I guess. Right. This, this is how I'm treating them. So how about an abyssal demon? Yeah, I'd probably... No, that's, I'd probably rather not, but... <laughs> so uh, an abyssal demon. Ouch. Giant spider. No, thanks. Hellhound. Mm, okay. A high troll. A lily arch. That's an interesting looking card. Mm -hmm. And an ogre mage. And are there corresponding minis for all of these as well? Uh, there are corresponding minis. Oh. So those are the lesser ones. So we're looking at things like two red for ranged. Uh, sorry, two red for attack, two red for magic, and then two green for defense, just on the lesser. Ooh. Then we have the greater ones. So three red dice for attack with an extra yellow dice. <laughs> uh, yeah, and just, just in case two red dice was not enough. Yeah, so um, yeah, they get harder and harder. <coughs> so those are the Roman monsters. And then, last but not least, in this bit. All of this looks like item cards. And These are item cards, so... I mean, we won't, we won't grab all of them out because no, there, I'll, there I'll are just, three just, pretty substantial stacks in I'll here. I'll just so. grab this stack out here. So, in fact, that stack still were... It's like still sealed. It is. Ooh. So, very Warhammer esque, very um, Zombie Side esque as well. Mm. You, know, you have your traditional weapons at level one, short bow, mace, that sort of thing. You've got a couple of weapons that are labelled. In fact, that should probably actually be in there. The level four stuff. So, these are all your level ones. Yeah. They've got a dice and some sort of attack against them. So, it's again, a bit like Zombie Side, you're, you're wandering around, you're picking up weapons. Can you upgrade yep. your weapons, or is it just based uh, on what you pick up? And I what believe you it's find? what you pick up, yeah. So, and there's some armor there as well. Some healing potions, and some sort of some items as well, like gold sacks, charm and protection, that sort of thing. Some spells, magic items. Nice. Yeah, so. Again, your, your traditional. It's hard hard to see on camera, but the quality of these cards are like second to none. They're they're really really good quality card stock. So let's get this back in there. Let's get all of this out of the way because now now we've got all of the good stuff that we know you won't really see. Yeah. So let's move this over. There. And these are the minis. These are the minis. In true zombie side fashion, two trays. No. Three trays. <laughs> <laughs> so, here are your hero miniatures. Best way of showing these. So, probably, probably this camera right here. Yeah. Where's, where's his face? There's his face. So. <laughs> so, you can see that even though they're only, I'm, I'm guessing these are probably injection molded. I can honestly tell you. Uh, e oh, I don't know actually. They're very good quality if they are. I can't see many. Yeah, inject yeah, injection molded. You can see the lines. Yeah, no, the detail on them is pretty good as well. Mm. Um, but these, the the these are. I'm guessing this is the these are the, these are the demons, aren't they? Yeah. The, the, look at that. Nobody wants to come across that in a game. And that's. That's enormous. Well, put it against a standard hero size miniature. That's not right. No. This you see, thing. that's that Lilia form that you were. Uh, Lilia Arch. One, two, three, four. Eight arms. It's Naga, basically. Another horrendously disgusting mini. But again, good quality. Yeah. Very well cast. Yeah. Really nice. And they are multi parts and they have they have come like this. Oh okay. So I didn't have to put anything together, which is I'm awesome. guessing this whole tray here is, is all of your standard sort of Yeah, they're all they're all nastiness. goblin goblin miniatures, that sort of thing. So we've got you have got your six characters. 
And we've got some of all the bad guys here. So we've got a couple of dwarves, a couple of orcs. Um, so like Zombicide, you've got your dashboard. Uh, so that's a little bit different. To a little bit Zombicide, different, yeah. yeah. So you got your, that's your character card, that's your weapons, armor, that's your health. And then this is the XP board, which I think it's going to take a bit of looking at because you've got mm. micro XP and then macro XP. Ah, so, uh, okay. Um, as I said, you've got the, the rings to go around the character bases yeah. and, then, yeah. and then the pegs that correspond with that. Nice. Yeah, so those are the miniatures. This is, this is the retail game, so if you, you get in the retail. Yep. So, so of course, being a Kickstarter, the one that you got, we've got, uh, yeah, got a few expansions. A few, few expansions. Let's sort of put them back there. Let's put them back there. So, uh, yeah, let's start with the Lightbringer pack. This is Kickstarter exclusive. Kickstarter exclusive, so never going to be available again uh, that's at the say. moment. That's what they say. So, we have an extra book of quests. We'll come Ooh. to that in a second. Nice. Oh, of course there's more minis. Yeah. <laughs> more so tiles. This is practice effectively stuff again. Another, another core game. Another core game. So, so more, more classes. Just a single class. Oh, just a single class. Just a single class. So this one's the Bone Crusher. Got oh, a nice bag for the, oh, uh, for the dice. Nice bag and token yeah. bag. Yeah. More cards. So if we get these guys out. So we have a couple of uh, extra weapons. Uh, these are these are actually artifacts, so epic level, I guess. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, specific to that. So kind, as well. of, kind of like um, the... Well, what's the big treasury items in Zombicide? Treasury items. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, effectively like those, but they're designed designed for that class. So those are the ones to do with right. the pressure class. Sure. So we have some more roaming monsters: uh, a were tiger, <laughs> were bear, a horrific looking overseer. Oh, I can't wait to see the miniatures for a, these. A Cthulhu, an Oni, a rock breaker, a brute, a nightmare thing, <laughs> a troll. A living construct, an iron golem. So these are these are just the normal. These these are the Roman monsters. Uh, oh god. Yeah, Hell's Bane, Graz and Prug. <laughs> That's Formian. a two-headed sort of ogre for yeah. those of you who can't see that well. Formian, Flash Golem, a Kunha with a chin. <laughs> Crimson chin. Uh, Cliffbreaker Cyclops, a Chromatis. Oh no! You, yeah, you've got to see this. It's a freaking unicorn. Yeah. With rainbow hair. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought that a game like this would have a freaking unicorn in it? As the bad guy. As a bad guy. That, and then that does surprise me. And then you have them all again, even harder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have more tiles. So, these are all lava-based tiles. Ooh, that's that's new. Yeah. Looks good, yeah? Mm -hmm. How about crystals as well? Oh, I'm guessing this is going to be sort of... Ooh, that's... Let me check out the artwork on those. Mm. That's pretty good. Which kind of brings me to this. The quest book. Uh -huh. A quest of crystal and lava. So it's all the quests... Quite that. All the quests are... to tell you how the lava so these, zones work. So this specific quest book's specific for this sort of... Yep. This add-on. Yeah, tells totally. you how the yep. crystal zones work, how the lava zones work. Yeah, hot ground, don't stay on it. Yeah. yeah. Makes and then ha and then all the maps sort of like, well, there's your lava, there's your crystal. Okay. And then it's pretty much all was in there. But extra quests. Yeah. So already we've doubled the amount of quests, and doubled the amount of tiles, more or less. So this this seems like it's going to be quite an in-depth game, and there's a lot of replayability to it. Yeah, I think so. I think like Zombicide, they're they're making sure that you're going to get your money's worth out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, nobody likes a game that's a one-hit wonder. Yeah. So. Uh, more minis. More minis. Box one of two. So, we have some more characters. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The one that everybody really wants to see right now. That's a good point, actually. Yes. The unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> I did actually miss the characters out. There are there are some character cards in there. Uh, there You're going to paint these? Yeah. Yeah? You're yeah. going to paint this one first? Uh, I will paint them, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see the day where I, I turn up and you're painting a unicorn. Bear in mind I still have Turtles Imperial Assault. 
<laughs> God knows what yeah, else. We, we've yeah, we've all got backlogs. We've all got backlogs. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've got some more characters. I did forget to show you the cards. Um, one of them, which is uh, Little Ned, uh, uses the Bone Crusher character class. Yeah, he's, he's not so little. No. The other two, uh, Miriam and uh, Savaton, I think he's called. It's got a red face. Kind of looks like an old... Shogun Warrior. He does a bit, yeah. yeah. These two use the existing classes out of the base game. Sure. So the new class in there is specifically for specifically this big dude. Yeah. Although you could, like I said, they don't, you don't have to stick with that character class for that person. Sure. Uh, all right, so we have, they're giving you some more minions here. So, we've seen those from the base game. So, uh, a double-headed ogre. And these are all just ordinary... These are just Roman monsters, yeah. Minions that you could just face up against normally, yeah, not I mean, bosses or anything. No, these are more like the end of level bosses. A bit, oh, like, okay. a bit like what we saw in the base game sure. for the for the giant spider and that. So you know, you got your pretty wear tiger. I'm still still just really taken aback by the fact that a unicorn is a bad guy in this game. Well, not only that, dwarves are bad guys as well. Mm. With goblins, working with goblins. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that that's surprising too. Although there is a dwarf character. Oh, okay. So you can play as so yes. I guess not all the dwarves are, are evil. So this is, this is another one here. Oh, there looks like something big in there. Go for it. Oh uh, yeah. Oh my good lord. Do you want to explain to me why what that is? That uh, is a uh, cyclops <laughs> carrying a menu. I don't even know which way round this goes. I don't think you're supposed to. Oh, there's his head. <laughs> uh, That's that overseer thing. That thing looks rather creepy. It's sort of Cthulhu-esque, isn't it? Along with, uh, along with this one. None of them look particularly friendly. Well, I don't know. He looks like he... For, the, for this, this thing here, right here, right. So for those of you who have played Lord of the Rings, the miniatures game from Games Workshop... Uh, do you also think that that sort of looks like what would happen if a Balrog would have had a baby with a demon prince? Yeah. 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 Well, maybe Predator, actually. Pre predator in a Balrog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was yeah, weird. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> these are, these the, again, mini, the, the casts on them are just incredible. Mm -hmm. And so the the fact that we know that they're multi part models that have been assembled before packaging, it's yeah, it's not really that obvious as to where the multi part piece is. No, I mean you um, can tell on some like where the head is, but yeah, very few of them you're looking and going, oh yeah, there's the multi part. Um, and looking through like the minion models, it's very hard. There's one or two that are going to need a hot hot water treatment. Uh, they've so, gotten so a little bit that, but right but you, you kind of expect that I mean yeah. there are long established companies um, again not mentioning any companies that still can't get it right with with stuff like that with castings yeah um, I see there are still a few more boxes that we've got yeah we've got loads to go so that's the Lightbringer pack that's Kickstarter exclusive nice. at the moment we have here So were these right? Were these add-ons or were these, uh, these stretch goals? These were stretch goals. Okay. I believe they're also coming out as retail. Okay. I can't say for sure. Sure. They never really answered the question. Yeah, it kind of kind of makes sense they, because they look, the, the boxes are barcoded as well. They so. look they look retail, don't they? Yeah. Um, there were add-ons that I could have got that were in a similar vein, things like uh, elementals and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But I thought as they're coming out as retail, I'll get them at a later date. Sure. So which one do you open? For, want to open first? Uh. Should we start with the big one? Yeah. Troglodytes. So it's not quite so nice as the the actual core game. It feels it's more pretty, flat packy. I suppose they've got a, they don't expect people to keep these. So um, we don't. But then, I suppose you'd have to really, though, wouldn't you? Because where else are you going to put all the minis? Because they haven't made the box, the core game box, big enough to put them all in. No. But then, like Zombie Side, I imagine there will be third-party storage solutions yeah, that will come out. So this, oops, still see. So this, to me, this is. So this, this one is more bad guys. More bad guys. So you, effectively, you get a uh, a set of guards and a roaming monster. 
Yeah. I think that's going to be the, the, the vein of these enemy boxes. Yeah. You, you know, here, here's your... Here's a set of uh, bad guys you can change out for the goblins, say, or, or for the Oh, yeah, yeah, it kind of makes sense, yeah. So you've got your trogs and you've got a minosaur. Now, uh, when we were going through this earlier, me, me and the mate, we... Uh, still can't get this open properly. Yeah, when we're looking at the minosaur mini. Yeah, that, that thing looks pretty angry. And the fact he's crouched over as well, so you're looking at a good, yeah. what, say an average character is supposed to be, what, five to six feet? Yeah. And so he's you, crouched over. You're talking sort of 10, 12 feet. Yeah. In real terms, yeah. Yeah. And a bloody big axe as well. You don't want to mean that on a dark night. Mm -mm. I feel that we probably will, though. Yeah. Because our gaming group has never been lucky enough to not deal with the nasty stuff. So, you get your trogs. Uh, there's another layer of trogs underneath. Uh, you have an agent um, and bruises and brutes. Uh, sorry, uh, warriors and brutes. Mm -hmm. Again, with the, the cards, you got the level one to five, yeah. and then the greater and lesser Roman monster for the for the, uh, for the mine saw. So that's pretty much what you get in any sort of enemy box. Yeah. <clears throat> so the other two are they also enemy boxes as well? Uh, no, they are uh, heroes and monster. Okay. So you get you get new heroes and you get a uh, an extra roaming monster. Cool. So yeah, this is sorcerers versus Lord Tusk. Ah, so another class. Yeah. Nice sorcerer class. Yeah. So you get uh, the roaming monster card for Lord Tusk. Yeah, and then an artifact weapon for as well. And. Ignore this at the bottom, that's something else that we'll come to in a minute. You have not seen that yet. <laughs> <laughs> so more heroes. More heroes. So the hero cards are in there. Yeah. Uh, only one of these is actually the sorcerer. Right. Okay. The other two use classes from, from the base the game. Box. In fact, actually I believe one of them uses the class from this box. Okay. Which is a bit Yeah, daft. that kind of yeah, that, yeah. that makes Perfect sense, of course. Yeah. Forcing you to buy both boxes. Uh, I suppose. Well, that's never a bad thing, though. Really, no, although so. the fact that you're not restricted in using a character class for yeah. a particular character means you could say, okay, well, I don't own this box, so I'll use the Kandiris one. Yeah. So, again, this one we have uh, a Noble Warrior class. Mm -hmm. We have another artifact and more cards. We've got three more warriors. Nice. And. Then we've got a cockatrice. Not quite as imposing as the mines will say, but no, or, or, no. or Lord Tusk with his massive, <laughs> his massive. Did you notice the massive axe he had? No, I didn't. You bring it back out of there. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's, that'd be what I'm I I'm loving the variety. Yeah, so I'm that'd really, be I'm really liking the variety that's in this. They've done they've done a good job actually. Yeah. So yeah, bring out the. Uh, we've got we've got to show off the uh, massive weapon this guy's got. Oh geez. It's, it's like a pair of meat cleavers. Yeah. And you're how so tall he is. Trying to get it out of the box. It is just like a giant pair of meat cleavers. It's, it's about the height of one of the characters. <laughs> Easily. That's disgusting. So what's the what's the what's the last box? So got the last there? box. This was a Kickstarter exclusive again. Uh huh. So this is again potentially not a retail one, but I, it does have a barcode on the box. It does have a barcode. I can't see they would release this as retail. Okay. I don't. I don't see the point of it being released as retail. Oh, it's bits of scenery. Scenery. Yeah. So we have the cardboard tokens for pillars and chests. Mm -hmm. They've basically given you them as, as plastic. That's pretty good. Uh, there were bridges and uh, chasms, I believe, yeah. also, but they were Kickstarter extras. Right. And uh, so this this came with your this came with, with a stretch. This was a stretch goal. Yeah. Right. Okay. I, I didn't go for the extras. Oh. Wait. It looks like you've got enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I felt it probably was enough. So this is probably the best thing, eh, probably one of the best things that came with the game. Mm -hmm. You own Do you own Zombie Another stretch goal. Uh, I don't, but there are a couple. I think there are a couple of us in the group that do. So, um, um, 
How would you like to use all your uh, massive darkness players in Zombicide? Oh, that that is clever. So all the main characters from Massive Darkness in Zombicide form. Is that including all of these? It's including all these and including some of the ones that I didn't get that were some of the retail box uh, that will be coming out later. So uh, I'm trying to think where uh, Malleus, I believe, is one of them. That's um, and that's that's really good, actually. I'm yeah. really, really, really impressed that's with that. Sycorus was his name. So yeah, all the character classes and in a proper zombie site. Yeah, really impressed with that. Uh, let's go one stage further. How would you like to bring your zombie side into Massive Darkness? <laughs> so, uh, how about zombie side characters in Massive Darkness form? Um, again, I don't know all the zombie side no. characters. There are loads, but I'm get uh, most of these. I we'll, we'll defer that to John for a later time yeah. as to when we when we do. The I, I recognise a lot of them from the base game. I think a few of them are from Every, the everybody expansions. who has zombie side knows knows the. The mental nun yeah. and herself, and, and the uh, the barmaid, and the barmaid, yeah, who was actually a barbarian in in uh, <laughs> darkness terms. So but let's let's take one stage further. You have, you have a load of zombies. There's no zombies in massive darkness. There are now. <laughs> so we have the dead eye walkers. So you get all the zombie cards for them we as get well. The zombie cards for them as well. So there are no uh, there is no base abomination. No. Um, there are no fatties either. They, um, the Abomination is now a runner. Okay. Yep. And a walker also includes the fatty. Okay. So you've got the wolves. Mm hmm. Uh, there's Dead Eye Walkers. And then somewhere along here, Necromancer. Necromancer is a level five straight away. Agent. Oh, God. It's a zombie agent. So you've got your level fives. And then we have the Roman monsters, the Abominable Troll. <laughs> Was it, this was one of the um, wolf ones, wasn't it? I think one so, yeah. Wolf packs. Abomination. <laughs> Abominable at all. Oh, my God. And then let's have the, uh, the greater ones. Let, let's be fair, they've gone to time with this one. Yeah, th this this was a Kickstarter add-on um, that came with the pledge. It's like, oh, you know, because you more than likely own Zombicide as well. Mm. Yeah, let, let's make them cross-compatible. No, that, and that's everyone, really and everyone went, Yeah, thanks, that's brilliant. So, well, kudos to Cool Mini or not for yeah for doing that. So I know John ended up with um, Master Darkness as well, and he does own Zombie Side. Yeah. So he's probably there. I do his believe. Hands together in glee. Uh, I do believe Big Matt is getting Zombie Side as well. Uh, yeah. Checking the camera crew. Big Matt getting Zombie Side. Green Horde. And Black Plague. And Black Plague. Yeah. I was getting Black Plague as well. Okay. I think that was one of the add-ons that you could pledge more, and you got Black Plague as well as Green Horde. Uh, as, as a as a. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to be busy. I think. Yeah, we are. This, this one's going to be a quite. A lot well, at least going. at least it's on the same premise. I would imagine a similar mechanic to Zombie Side. So we, I guess so. Yeah, we're all pretty pretty good at playing Zombie Side. So this one should be a relatively easy one to. Yeah, on I mean, go. I was thinking you could actually have quite a nice campaign where you are the heroes from either game. Yeah. Doing a Zombie Side mission, clearing mm. the zombies out of a town that's been overrun. And, and then, then you find the a survivor. Yeah, the you find, darkness yeah, you find a survivor. It says, "Oh, there's evil coming from that cave yeah. over there," and you go into the cave, and all of a sudden you're playing the massive darkness uh, version of your characters into the darkness, fighting, you know, even maybe more zombies or mm. you know, minotaurs or no, it's awesome. troglodytes. Awesome. Like so much stuff. Yeah. So many minis. So many to paint. Have fun painting them. Thanks. Um, my my Kickstarter box that we're probably going to be unboxing soon all come pre-painted. <laughs> which I know John was not happy about. So, um, so yeah, that's that's massive darkness, um, and we are Rage Flip.